In the coastal town of Frostenheim, the Day of Atonement was a solemn tradition, observed once every decade. Nobles of the highest standard were given the chance to offer redemption to those deemed lost to crime and deception. It was a day when mercy and justice walked hand in hand, and the destinies of the condemned could be rewritten. The sun was beginning to set over the bustling town centre, casting long shadows and an amber glow over the cobblestone streets. Townsfolk gathered in anticipation, murmuring amongst themselves about who would be saved this year. So Rigor Octavius to Leon III, a man of both wealth and honour, stood tall in his resplendent armour. The emblem of the house gleaming on his chest. Known for his valour and unwavering sense of justice, he was a figure both revered and respected. Beside him, a Lara violet dark flame, a tiefling of striking appearance and noble lineage, held an air of mystery and power. Her deep purple eyes seem to hold secrets of the arcane, and her presence commanded attention. Alara, this year's candidates for atonement have been presented, Gregor said, his voice steady yet contemplative. It is a heavy responsibility we bear. Alara nodded, her expression thoughtful. Indeed, Gregor, redemption is not a path easily walked, but it is a path that can change destinies. Let us hope we choose wisely. The crowd parted as Gregor and Alara approached the raised platform where the condemned stood. Two figures, their wrists bound in chains, were held by the town guards. They were Garlem Nunnum, a half elf with a wild, untamed look in his eyes. And Twiggy, a slender half-elf with an air of defiance and agility about her. The town crier announced their crimes. Fraud, deception, and theft. Crimes punishable by death. Unless a noble intervenes. Garland's eyes darted around, searching for a way out. While Twiggy stood silently, her eyes fixed on the horizon, as if already accepting her fate. It's been a good ride, my heavy friend. Elara stepped forward first, her voice clear and authoritative. I, Elara, via the dark flame, will take Twiggy under my protection. Her crimes may be many but I believe she has the potential for greatness. Twiggy's eyes widened in their surprise, a flicker of hope igniting within her. Why would you save me? She asked, her voice tinged with suspicion. Alara met her gaze steadily. Because I see strength in you that can be harnessed for good. Will you accept this chance? Twiggy hesitated. Then nodded. So the choices are death or join you? Hmm, decisions. Yes, 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 I'll join you. Gregor then stepped forward, his gaze setting on Garland. I, Sir Gregor, Octavius de Leon III, will take Garland Num Num under my protection. Though his path has been one of interception, I believe he can find redemption. Gardam scoffed and his smirk played on his lips. And what makes you think I want redemption, noble man? Rigor's eyes hardened, because I believe there is more to you than the crimes you have committed. Prove me right, or spend your days in chains. The choice is yours. Garland's smirk faded, replacing
replaced by a look of contemplation. Fine, I'll take your offer, for now. With their choices made, Ilara and Gregor led their new charges away from the platform, the crowd buzzing with curiosity and speculation. They walked through the streets of Frostenheim, the salty sea breeze mingling with the scents of the market. As they reached the outskirts of town, Gregor turned to face the group. We are not yet a team, but we must learn to trust one another. Our journey will be long and fraught with danger, but if we succeed, we can forge a bond stronger than steel. Ilara nodded in agreement. We must learn from each other. Strength, wisdom, cunning, and magic will be our tools. Together we can achieve greatness. Garland glanced at Twiggy. Another hint of a grin returning. So what do we call ourselves? The noble misfits? Twiggy smirked. How about Sir Gregor and the Howling Inferno? Gregor raised an eyebrow, a smile tugging at his lips. Fitting, given our diverse skills and fiery resolve, it is set on them. We are Sir Gregor and the Howling Inferno. With their new name and sense of purpose, the four adventurers set off into the unknown, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Their journey of redemption and courage and unity had just 